Hello everyone, and welcome to the 11th episode of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. The last episode, on our 10th episode, we decided to go north past the barrier. So we went through army warehouses, we cleared a few missions around here, and uh, we actually did the clear the monolith mission with Gatekeeper. Here we lost both companions, but we found a couple of new ones. And then we passed through the Red Forest, we fought some Sin, not a really big deal, uh, it was okay. But once we got up north, uh, I honestly wanted to take Yanov Station, but uh, I, I changed my mind at the last moment. It was... Um, hmm. I, I remember there were a bit too many enemies down there, but we will do it another time. Then we went north, we met with Beard, and after that I actually spent a little bit of time both in Zaton and in Jupiter doing just a few missions, getting a couple of stashes. I was hoping for expert tools. Unfortunately, we didn't have that much luck, but it was interesting that almost every mission we did gave us stashes. And as you can see, we still have some of them out there. But being there uh, kind of taught me why you shouldn't skip a little bit of mid-game farming. I was kind of excited. I wanted to go north as fast as possible. But uh, because of that, we didn't have that much ammo. So I ended up having to use a lot of uh, FMJ for my 5.56 weapon. I used most of my sniper rifle ammo. And I completely forgot that... As duty, I have no one, and I mean no one, to sell me uh, 556 uh, ammo up north, which is uh, horrible. So by the time I came back through the Red Forest, I was down to some sniper rifle AP, and, uh, <laughs> and my USP match with a few Hydra shock rounds. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, uh, when coming back through Red Forest, and I didn't uh, put this in my uh, farming video, well, my farming bit, I only met with some uh, pseudo-dogs, which my guys took care of along with me. So it was pretty uneventful, and we made our way back to Rostock. So now I've kind of learned my lesson. Our armor was a bit too weak. I took a lot of huge shots that almost killed me. Uh... It was very anxiety-inducing, and again, we don't really have that much ammo, and our weapons are a bit weak. Exactly because I'm afraid to waste too much ammo. Especially when fighting UNISG and Sin, which just take so much ammo to kill. I, I think I, I took 15 shots of a non-armor piercing SV-98 into a UNISG uh, guy and he didn't die. So that was problematic, which means we have to actually keep on farming uh, in the south a bit longer. I will want to clear radar. I won't do Brain Scorcher yet. As I said, I don't really want to risk it just yet. I might actually just farm for better armor and better weapons, and I'll let that be basically close to our end game. But today, what we will do is uh, we will try and get some cash. That means we're gonna grab all the stashes here in the Crux Cemetery and do the missions. There's a lot of them ready for pickup. There's a green one here. So two green stashes in Crux Cemetery. We'll do that really fast. And then I would like to come back to Rostock, drop all the stuff we picked up, move through wild territory. There are three more, four more stashes in there. One of them is a mission. Kill some mercs. Maybe they have some good loot. I would like to pass uh, through Yantar. I would like to pick up um, an artifact melter. And then we also got finally eight snork hands so we can recruit hip. So from Yantar, I might go back through wild and go through garbage, try and pick up all the sashes here. Then move down to cordon, pick up hip 
and finally go all the way to the Great Swamps, to the Clear Sky Base, to meet with Librarian. And I think that will be enough to cover the whole episode. I think we might even be short on time. But because the last episode, uh, I ended up cutting a lot of it, I would honestly prefer this episode to be just a bit... Um, a bit more chill. I, I don't want to be as anxious as I was last time. So I'll just run around, do my thing, kill some mutants, farm some stashes, and uh, I'll try and cut out the bigger, longer, boring parts like walking, but mostly I'll leave it all in and we'll see how much it lasts. <laughs> Alright, oh yes, uh, one final thing. We also got a UNISG exosuit, which I repaired. And I dropped our um, M4 Butcher back home because we were out of ammo and I picked our EK-105 Specialist, so that's the loadout we'll be playing with today. Okay, here we are. So I would like to do a big run along the northern side, uh, come over here, get the stashes, kill these mutants, and then uh, come back through the south and uh, get everything finished. Now, even though I am heavily armored at this point, I would... Uh, I, I will go a bit faster, but I would rather not take any huge risks. So, from time to time, if you see me stopping and waiting there for a few seconds, and uh, if you hear me stop talking in the middle of a sentence, I'm sorry, it's just usually because I heard something, and uh, I'm stopping to, to listen a bit more carefully, so I'm not taken by surprise. And yeah, I know this happens a lot, but I don't have the best... Uh... What is... Is that a stalker? Scientist. Right. I mean, ecologist. Oh, there's the stash. And uh, what I was saying, oh yes, um, it's uh, very hard for me to pay attention at multiple things at once, so I need to stop talking to be able to pay attention to the game. Right, we'll just pick everything up and uh, we'll sell the excess. I might actually have to clean up the stash as well, because we have a lot of... Um, when we get back or once we finish the episode, because I have a lot of... Um, historic weapon parts that I don't really use and probably won't anymore. Where is this one? This one is at the back of the bus. Along with two broken flashlights. Good enough. Oh, I actually hear dogs in the distance. I'm not gonna bother with them right now. My guys are set to engage anything, so if anything comes too close, they'll... Uh, They'll jump on it. I hope. Right, this has got to be inside. Ooh, M4 Tactical. That's pretty cool. If we didn't have... Um... Oh, there's the dog. And as we know, it's never one. So let's see where the other one is. And... Uh... I clipped him on the first one.
what's our guy still fighting? Uh, hello? I think I heard zombies over in that direction. So let's see. Yep. Hey! Die. It's me in the magazine. And as we know, where there's one. Always double tap. Okay, we should be good. I was hoping to get some uh, artifacts as well, but I just realized I didn't buy any containers, so that's gonna be annoying. Okay. What other stashes do we have here? Okay, you know what? I'll pick that one when we come back. So let's head straight to the south and then we'll pick up the green one. Now, at this point, the only thing I'm kind of scared of here is uh, pseudo giants. And if there was a pseudo giant, we probably would have heard him by now. Of course, there, there's also being jumped by a chimera, but I'm not that worried about uh, about that because there's there's a clear open space for us to see it coming from either direction. Where the hell is the stash? Is it on top of the helicopter? Can't be. Up below. Oh! There's a chimera. I think uh, I just killed one of our guys. Come on, on me. Hey, 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 here. I really intent on murdering my guy. Oh, Chimera. In close spaces. Not that good. Oh, that's, uh, that's very annoying. Not gonna lie. Um, I gotta find his corpse because I need to pick up the weapon. I did give my guys the, the... There we go. Ooh, he had a Nomad Stalker suit. That's pretty cool. Gonna have to repair my multi-tool. Okay, so how do... Yeah, it's definitely up there. And we're gonna have to climb on this rudder here. Seva suit. Yeah, this would have been good some time ago. You know what? I'll disassemble it for parts because you never know when you might need them. Oh crap. Uh where the hell is this? And where can I hide? Uh That's too far. Okay, you know what? I thought I had an antibiotic, but it turns out I don't, and, uh, oh boy. <laughs> I'm sure we can make it. Come on. 
Okay. Whew. Alright, and we're back. Um Yeah, I didn't like that. It was a little bit too close for comfort. But now it's pretty much done, so we can keep moving. I'll take a coffee pill just because I started getting a bit sleepy. Five four five barrel, probably broken. Yeah, not even gonna bother. Okay, so where is this stash actually? Here it is. Oh wow! And some basic tools. We might actually want to take a couple of sets of basic and advanced tools with us, just in case we meet any um friendly mechanics along the way. You know what? These mutants are right here. Let's let's go deal with them. Oh cats! Okay, there's three more cats there. I'm gonna jump down for a bit just so I can aggro them. Oh, didn't know they could jump that this high. Okay, and there should be one more. Ho 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 ho! Run! <laughs> oh, don't go in the bush, I can't see what you're doing. Okay, he got it. <laughs> oh god, I, I never imagined I'd see <laughs> a companion running from a boar like that. Benny Hill moment of the day. Alright, I'm not sure where the third cat died, so uh, we'll keep an eye out, but I think it was somewhere far away. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's just cross the forest. Um, ah, it's annoying that that cat got my leg. Seeing as they're so small, I didn't think they can jump on the hood of the car, but, I mean, they're cats. Okay, and we should also uh, keep an eye out for any artifacts. We deal with that first, yes! I really love the weather right after an emission. Even though it's a bit dark, just so, so awesome. Oh, zombies. Double tap. I don't really care for wasting about wasting hydroshock. Oh, let's just a you there. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, there's another. Was. I think zombies are the most annoying uh, mutant killing quest. I mean, it is easy to do, but the parts you get from them are just so they're they're most of the time not worth the bullets you spend. I do hear cats in the distance again. I think they're somewhere in the middle of the forest there. Anyway, let's not worry about them right now. There are also chimeras sometimes around here, so do pay attention if you ever visit. Okay, and where is this stash exactly? Is it... Oh, there it is, right under. AK-101. I mean, the parts are good. And then we have another one right there, the green stash. Is this actually any good? You know what, I'll grab it just in case. And uh, my guy, I think it's time for you to carry some of my stuff. Oh, that's enough. Okay, next up, a stash in the middle of the forest. Damn, I love the sunset here. And the sky is so amazing. Oh, where I, I live right now, it's currently winter time, so um, generally cloudy, white and gray, so seeing the sky nice and blue in Stalker is just... Uh, uh, fills me with a little bit of joy. It gets me out of that seasonal depression, you know. Listening for cats right now. Okay, seems that was the only one. And ah, it's there's an upgrade, so not a complete loss. And now we still have two stashes. I'm gonna go around and then come up. I don't expect to find any artifacts here, we're not uh, near any major anomaly fields, where, except uh, there's a poisonous one there, but I don't want to go there, I don't want to ruin my armor. Uh, but sometimes after emissions they do randomly spawn in places, so it never hurts to have your, your detector out when there's no mutants around to hunt you. Okay, not the best of stashes, but it's alright. And finally, we have one exactly that way. Okay, so there is an artifact here. Oh! That, that almost pulled me in a little bit. Okay, let's see. Stone flower. It is a little radioactive, but that's okay. Uh, we can take it at this point. Okay, and here's the... Okay, shotgun part. Um, we'll probably just sell it. Oh, are those meds? Yes, they are.
Okay, from here we can just uh, go back to Rostock without any issues. So, uh, I'll see you there. Okay, here we are back in Rostock. I did take a bit of time to uh, manage the stuff I brought back. Put them in the stash. And uh, I also took a few turn-in missions, which uh, we will do together. Yes, I am irradiated because I just ate some bad food. But it's nothing we can't cure without a little bit of tobacco. We will also take a nap right after, after this, so uh, I'm not worried about the health loss either. And yeah, I did turn in my boar pelt, just because uh, it's not as good as the others. I Even though, for example, the um, uh, flesh hide we have uh, only gives us one kilo of weight carry, carried, I still consider it better than the boar pelt, simply because it has a lot of rupture resistance. Okay, you there. Is that all? Okay. Um, and I would also like to buy some Kevlar to upgrade it, and that we can actually place on, uh, on us. I think I have enough uh, stuff to do both the upgrades. So that should be nice. Okay, let's do that one first. Usually I skip showing the turn-ins on, on video just because I I, I personally don't find it uh, that exciting. But uh, this time, again, I, I just want to have a chill time, so... I'll, I'll leave the farming in, in, just so you see everything I do. There should be an artifact here, right? Mm. This thing will whack me, won't it? Close to the wall. All right. A battery. That's actually really good. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, again, uh, we're going to have to turn in the stone flower, but we also need to buy some artifact containers to hold our irradiate artifacts and also. I should start looking around for stalkers. I would like to get another professional, or at least an experienced guy. So let's have a look around and see who wants to join. Good enough, you're in. You have a nice helmet. Uh, here. What's the weapon he has? That's not bad, but um, we're going to do close quarters combat most of the time, so congratulations, you are the new owner of a cursed weapon. Everyone holding it has died. Do I need any more meds? We're kind of good on meds. And we're kind of low on ammo. <laughs> All right, what we do need is uh, artifact containers, which uh, he doesn't have. But um, I'll tell you what, we'll have a little nap and we will... Uh, we will turn these things in in the morning. Okay, so I woke up a little bit too early. And uh, you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. We'll see what happens. Hmm, we actually have three sparkling waters. Do we have anything new here? Uh, proximity, sure, sure. And I think it's actually Chimera Horn. That's new. And three sparkling waters, which we have exactly three of, so. Sure, why not? 
our Chimera Horn here, our free sparkling waters here, and who wants them? Oh, both dark and rainy. Not really my favorite thing. Oh yes, uh, a little surprise. In one of those stashes, there was the last piece I needed for RSVU. Which I built up and uh, I also upgraded a little bit. Unfortunately, I had to use the, um, the mechanic for the upgrades, so it cost a pretty penny. But uh, I think we'll enjoy our new weapon. Do you, have you refreshed your stuff? Do you have containers? Mm, containers. Okay. And the other one is underneath again. Yeah, it's going to be cool having a semi-automatic uh, sniper rifle, I think, compared to our slow um, bolt action. Let me pass. Okay. Hmm. I wonder actually what will be guys sneak. There we go. I don't want any lanterns bothering me. I wonder what's gonna be at um, the checkpoint here. I forgot to get Kevlar. That's alright, I guess. Mm. Ooh. You guys see anything there? Oh, there's someone. Oh no, it's just a tree. Okay. I'm just gonna push in and we'll see what happens from there. I, I can't wait to get our expert tools, mostly just so I can have the third level of night vision. Because this one is just... oh god. A bit that irradiated. This one is just a bit too... Um, green. Okay, there's no one there. It is night time though, so I am very scared of mutants here. That looks like a flashlight to me. And there's two of them there. Unfortunately, I can't tell what they are. And my idiotic companions keep pushing me. I'm pretty sure these are mercs. Right, so where were we? Yes, I think there will be mercs here. We saw the flashlights. 
Luckily, there's also a stash right here, so we had to pass through here either way. I really don't like the rads, but there's nothing I can do about them. And let's see where these guys are. Oh, they're fighting on the other side. Okay, let's let's not engage. Um, I'm gonna take an anti-rad. Oh, they're here. That's one. Where's the other? I'm not sure if that's a light or an anomaly. It's an anomaly. Okay, where's the other mark? Ah, electric. Is there somewhere? Oh. We'll just have to keep an eye out for lights. And I do need to deal with these rads right now. So where... I always forget where I put my uh, my cigarettes. Okay, let's take this one first. That's an anomaly, definitely. Can get really hard to spot them with uh, with the night vision. Don't even know what I picked up there. But we should be good. Stop sneaking. Actually, keep sneaking because I need the flashlights when they're close. Okay, and let's see what this guy had on him. Sneaky bastard. A G36 and um, some good ammo. Right. Fill up. And let's go grab this uh, stupid stash. Always annoying this this um, tunnel here, or whatever you want to call it. Huh. Nah. It's, it's not worth picking up. All right. Oh, there he is. Oh, they're friendly. Okay. I think I can pick up. Oh, yes. oh, that that was lucky. These things are so annoyingly hard to spot with uh, with night vision. Okay, so since there were guys over here, I'm not that afraid of mutants. I'm guessing they would have dealt with them. So let's just climb up, pick up this stash, and we will also get a little uh, look-see up here and see if there's... Ooh, ooh, with a good barrel. You know what? I'm taking that. I think we have one at home. I also just realized we forgot to pick up the... Um, second advanced toolkit because i'm thinking of passing through yantar and uh, we could give a toolkit to that guy oh no so judging by this oh okay i thought for a second he'd be in the underground oh we didn't get much some ammo which is better than nothing all right, next up, there's also a stash here. Let's see. Oh, chest in the crane. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to bother with that. It's really annoying to pick up. I'll just uh, skip it this time. Right, and there will be mercs in their base. So let's do what we do best. Climb up over here. And uh, we can take them out with... Uh, we don't even even need our sniper rifle. We can take them out with um, the AK. Might actually be easier. Plus, we can see their flashlights, which is awesome. How many are there? There's one there. There's one there. And I'm not sure if there's... Yeah, there's definitely another one there. God damn it.
I would love if the AI companion AI would stop doing that. It's so frustrating when you start aiming. Oh. Oh, th those are my guys, I think. It's so fucking frustrating when you want to target something and uh, the companions just push you out of the way. A lot of light here. And four, we've got the PDA, that's nice. I'll even check on it right now. Gonna have to turn the night vision off. Uh, access denied. Okay. Oh, it's actually light enough that we don't need the night vision anymore, so that's awesome. Let's do a little reload. And uh, we're going to head down to Yantar. Ecologist. As always, we're going to pull out our detector. And um, there's definitely an artifact over there. And I definitely got burned over here. I'm not sure which way it's gonna pass. I'll just duck as much as possible and hope I don't get pride. Good enough. Okay. Mm, and stone. Right. And we're out. Um, I always forget which way I'm supposed to go. For this, uh, for this anomaly. All right, uh, wrong PDA. But we got everything fixed here. What? <laughs> okay, I was supposed to deliver a package, I think, to Yantar, actually. But the guy came over here. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that's that. Let's keep on going. Just making sure all our weapons are reloaded and off to Yantar we go. Okay, here we are. Now, we don't have any major missions in Yantar, so we're just gonna pass through. I'm gonna drop basic tools to the mechanic here. Uh, we're gonna see... We have 29. Mm, we could probably sell something to get um, an artifact melter, although now that I think about it, it would probably be more prudent to leave it for next time. We'll just do a quick pass through, then we'll move back through wild territory to garbage. Okay, here we are, back in garbage. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick run around, do all the stashes, uh, finish the missions here. Does sound like someone's fighting over there. And, uh,. Oh, just some dogs. We're good. Okay, so I'm gonna first go to the duty checkpoint just because um, there is a package delivery mission there. And we also have to neutralize this target. Interesting. Probably a freedomer because uh, I don't think he's engaging anyone out there. I would have heard some gunshots or something. Uh, here's this stash. 
another set of basic tools. I mean, sure. Worst case, we'll combine them, make advanced tools, and turn them into some mechanic. At this point, uh, I know there are snorks and zombies some, sometimes there. At this point, for when it comes to mutants, I kept hoping I'd run into snork to get snorks to get snork hands, but uh, we already have enough, so. What are these guys doing? They're trying to fight something. Just not sure what. Let's turn in our stuff and uh, we'll see after. Not sure who they were shooting at. Um, hello? Where's the body? Not here. Oh, there we go. It was just a bandit. What the hell was a bandit doing up here? <laughs> wow, an exoskeleton. That's completely useless. Um, I will definitely not take anything um, weaker than maybe a monolith standard exoskeleton. Um, and even then, I'm not sure. In the end, we will be aiming to buy, get ourselves a, a Nosorog, hopefully a UNISG, just because it's, I think it's the best one. These guys are, are clear sky. I don't think I've ever seen Freedom run around in here, but it, you never know, so it always pays to be, to, to be on the lookout. Where is this stash? It outside? Yes, there we go. It's in the teapot. And it's completely useless stuff. But... We got a different stash out of this uh, thing, so uh, let's carefully... Uh, we're good. <laughs> the barrel. Well, at least the early morning looks beautiful. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Stop. Uh, yep, on this side of the hill. Oh, wow. Interesting. There's a Psy Sucker fighting a Fracture over there. And I'm not gonna interrupt. Yeah, you might get 
Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, they gave good loot. Okay, you know what? No, I'm I'm not gonna ruin my armor for those stashes. Let's just go down to Corden. Because there's a couple of them right near to the swamp thing. Uh, witch's jelly, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the guy with the package delivery came back. You know what? I'll just uh, run... I hear whispers. There are controllers somewhere? Because I'm pretty sure I heard whispers. Okay, we're back in Cordon and there's actually some stalkers around here, which I probably have to kill. Yeah, bandits. That's one. That's two. That's three. Four. I think there's one more somewhere. Yeah, they instantly activated. So there's probably one more somewhere behind the wall. Got him! <laughs> I know it's like clubbing seals, but there's something very satisfying about coming back to a, a starter zone and uh, getting a feel of how much you progressed during the game. We'll still be a little careful around here, just because... Uh, even with the best of armors, we can still die. Have a delivered the package, we have cleared the research area, we're just gonna head straight down there. Uh, actually, you know what? I could pass by Xenotech to give him a basic repair kit. I'm not sure if we already gave him one or not, but we might as well. And I'll keep the advanced kit for uh, the um, mechanic in um, Clear Sky, just in case we might need to, to have to repair some good NATO weaponry and uh, having him at uh, a better skill level would probably be a good idea. Oh, we already have the Butcher, so for 5.56 five, we don't really need anything else. But uh, you never know, we might need to fix an RD9x39 and um, who knows, he might have the parts we need. Ooh, doggies! I would have completely ignored them if they weren't so close. Do you have anything? Honestly, I don't think so.
I'll buy these. Just because lately I never seem to have enough of them. And let's also do a little task board check. Maybe we can kill something along the way. Not going to Ag Agroprom. East of Rookie Village, we can do that. Uh, search a stash. I don't wanna, but sure. Okay, kill some guy in the Great Swamps. We'll come through here anyway, so sure, we can do that. And I don't think we actually have anything that they want. Two board shops. One of my guys might have another one. Nope. No luck. Okay, so let's see. Where's that stash I need I need to search? Oh, it's right under Rookie Village. That's really awesome. We can go kill the mutants, go uh, search the stash, and then we can go to Rookie Village. You don't have armor? You get whacked. Oh, there's another one. There we go. I'm not gonna climb up there to loot him. It's just a bandit. I hear dogs. And they're definitely fighting something. Flashes. I don't hear any gunfire, so I don't think there's bandits here. actually got that one. Okay, there's one remaining. And it's actually trying to fight. Don't often see flashes fighting back. I think a bandit spotted us. You know what? I don't want to waste bullets. Just let's just run away from them. It's just bandits. That's an interesting monolith message. Oh, I think we actually have to kill these flashes for the mission. I hope the bandits aren't still following us. That that would be really annoying. Oh yeah, they're still following us. Not even gonna loot that. We're, we'll head right back. 
Oh, but there's another flesh way to the south. I hope the army doesn't have any issues with us uh, hunting in their territory. Oh boy. Can you please stop moving? Thank you. Just keep ignoring. Let's go get that stash and then head to Rookie Village. I know there's some dogs over there, but whatever. Ecologist there. Oh wow. Imagine finding this in the early game. Wouldn't that uh, have been something? I mean, we had a stupidly good start, but I, I would have loved still to get an SKS right at the start. All right, let's talk to Hip. We got all 40 fingers for you. All right, and now she will ask us to hunt artifacts with her. But uh, we don't really have to do that mission since she already joins us right now. Um, at some point, um, I might go artifact hunting, but um, I'm not really equipped to do it right now. Okay, we also delivered the package, and the only mission left here is, um, I think here, there's two of them, and uh, you know what, I'll, I'll get back to them later. And by later, I mean when we come back from the Great Swamp, we have Hip with us. So it's going to be much easier to get past uh, everything. Hip is very tanky. And uh, she'll be... Uh, even though she's not very effective in combat most of the time, she will be a very good meat shield. Meat shield. Alright, we are back, and uh, let's take a... Hmm. Sorry, there was a little uh, lag spike there. A big one. I don't care, I'll shoot your hands all day, fucker. Where's the other one? Oh, maybe it was just my guys uh, being uh, a bit jumpy.
always worth taking a look through these ba this base here. It's just got so many places items can spawn. Uh, that uh, if you start in the Great Swamp, you can actually get a little rich early game just from looting this base here. Stupidly enough, uh, enemies sometimes spawn in friendly bases. And uh, when you come in into the... There. Yeah. So, if, if the renegades actually attacked this place, they wouldn't have gotten all the way in the church. They probably just spawned in, and the minute I walked in, they started shooting at each other. That's kind of the way it happens. Um, at one point, I, I actually had... Um, give me a second. At one point, I was uh, sleeping in Strelox base in uh, outskirts. And by the time I woke up, there were three or four bandits in exoskeletons uh, right near us. Ended up killing like... Half of a, of a Strelox crew, one of them threw a grenade. <laughs> that took like five reloads until I managed to kill the guy with the grenade fast enough so that, that he doesn't kill uh, Strelox team because it was right at the end of the game. <laughs> What's that? Flesh and a boar. Okay. Uh. Oh crap. I need water. Oh! I hope I didn't shoot my guy. It's only the flesh left. We're good. Oh, that was scary though. Boars are fucking scary. I'm not sure what our guy is still shooting at. Hey! Um... No idea. There's a stash here. Let's just grab this. There's still a flesh here? Bandits in the village? Bandits in the village. Well, bandit. That's okay. We got him. Although we did waste a lot of bullets for that one. Uh, I should have had it on slanted by default. But yeah. It's hard to aim up close when you have a, a PSO scope. Alright, and we're almost at the Clear Sky base. And here, we're gonna turn in the mission to uh, Librarian, which is, I think, the bartender here. And uh, we'll, we'll see. If, if the mission he gives us next is fast enough, we might actually do it. Otherwise... Um, 
I might just finish here. But let's see. Uh, do I want to... I definitely want to do that. Um, sure, plastic jars. Easy. I have nine bandit patches. Just since I'm here, might as well disassemble some of these things. Bandit, bandit, bandit. Yes, I do. Um, so let's take that one as well. Six Hercules. What do these guys think I, I'm made of meds? We don't have enough boar fangs. We do have... Do we have one Psy Sucker Meat? I think we have one Blood Sucker Meat. No, it's Lurker Meat. Never mind. Neither. And Flesh Eyes. No. I don't think I have enough. Do I? Uh, we have two here. And didn't you have a Flesh Eye? No, it's a Lurker Eye. Okay, never mind. Let's just turn in what we have real fast. Plastic jars, good. Uh, I will need the advanced tool kit. Tool kit. Uh, go. And... Uh, let's turn in both the toolkits right now. That's one. And the advanced, of course. There we go. It's a little bit of money. Should be enough to repair our gear at least. That knife. Repairing it is just so expensive. Um, ooh, anomaly map. I really don't need this. I don't need the gunsmithing tools. And uh, I actually don't need any of these bullets. Perfect. Okay, I'll turn in the bandit uh, things first. Здрав, буди. Как насчет and he doesn't have any work. I think there is another uh, clear sky mission later that you can do after you unlock uh, after you unlock better reputation with the faction. How do I reach this? Uh, that that wasn't worth the wiggles. <laughs> okay, we have enough meds, so I'm not gonna bother this guy. And, uh... Ooh, water. And some random crap. Okay, let's see. Uh, I've come to see you. And he wants 11 anti-radiation drugs. Seriously? The, these things are actually pretty rare. Like, this guy isn't selling them. So what, what am I supposed to do? Right, uh, before I forget, I will buy one set of antibiotics just because uh, I don't want to be caught out uh, in uh, uh, thinking I'm gonna die in emissions anymore. And uh, yeah, this this is really annoying. Uh, actually, the the trader here might have some. Sometimes the general traders sell these things. These? 
nope doesn't look like it so um yeah we will have to actually do a round of the vendors uh and um find find these things and now that i think about it i think we might do this off screen just because i'll just run around uh, turn looking for for uh meds to buy that means i'm probably gonna go i'll sell these i'm probably going to go there's no one else here that sells stuff so i'm probably gonna go back to rookie village and see if sidorovich sells any he sh probably should and then I think the guy in the flea market sells some. And if not, I'm pretty sure the doctor in the duty base does. So, um, yeah, I think this will be it for today. If uh, anything interesting happens while I do the, the round looking for meds, I will, of course, drop them in the video game again as bonus content. But... For now, this is all we'll do today. So, just a quick recap. We went through the truck cemetery. We collected, I think it was like 10 stashes over there. We did two mutant killing missions. We lost one of our guys to a chimera. Went back to Rostock. Finished some missions there as well. Found another guy to join us, an experienced one. Gave him the cursed weapon, the L95. Went through wild territory, killed a few mercs, got a few stashes, including two green ones. Then we went to Yantar, uh, did a quest there, uh, bought some meds, bought some artifact containers, came back through garbage, did a lot of quests here, took about half the stashes, came down to Cordon, did a few quests here. Um, we finally recruited hip and then through the great swamp all the way to the clear sky base where we turned the mission into librarian and he gave us this new mission of finding 11 anti-radiation drugs which i would actually love to use for myself but hey a mission's a mission so i hope you enjoyed Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and throw in a comment if you have any suggestions or anything to say. And I'll see you guys next time.